You ready? Are you ready? This is hot. Go. <laughs> I bring them uh, lots of weather experiments. So we, we, do, we suck an egg into a bottle. We, we pop uh, dry ice into a film canister and pop the lid. <laughs> we make a cloud. Uh, we, uh, we crush a can. We do, I do, uh, you know, sometimes science can be kind of dry. And I try to uh, inspire the kids and the teachers to come up with inventive and uh, exciting ways to make uh, science interesting. And uh, the best way to do that is these uh, demonstration experiments. It interests me because like, you get to like, learn about the weather and sometimes you know from before if there's anything that's going to come on to save you from getting killed by storms. Um, and the thing that interests me the most was that it was like really cool because I'm tornadoes and storms mainly interest me. Part of my job and part of my, my passion is education. And I'm not a teacher per se, but I, every chance I get, I like to go out to the schools and to inspire the kids and give the kids a little different taste because they see the teachers every day and day out and they can kind of get jaded. And it gives the, the kids a, to see that hey, there's someone in the community that actually does this. I could be a meteorologist and be here in El Paso. Yes, and computer scientists are the ones in charge of programming this uh, computer. Yeah, we were really excited that they invited us so we can promote uh, careers in science, technology, arts, and mathematics because uh, those are the, the kind of like the disciplines that will shape the world of tomorrow. And we see the future on these kids and, you know, coming and inspiring them to pursue a career. You rotate the two corners like this. Right now we're showing them, uh, this is about the new program that is coming up to YouTube, which is uh, allowing every single student to work on 3D printers, okay? Basically, it doesn't matter if you're from engineering, business, education, if you have an idea and you see, uh, in, if you want to 3D print it, you can just basically go to a computer lab and submit your model. And by showing these 3D models to the students, you really get them excited and to, oh, you know, I could build a limb for somebody that has missed a limb. And then they'll go through here, huh? Yeah. I think it's pretty great because it can teach us a lot because some of us don't know what we want yet. Some of us are still struggling of what we want to become. I think career days are, um, are found among a whole bunch of different schools and different grade levels in primary and secondary schools. However, I've never quite heard of one that has been able to pull 49 STEM professionals here on one campus. This is an amazing endeavor. Um, you guys can go ahead and take a look. It won't buy a comment. I think they're excited about learning about uh, all subjects because STEM is not just about science, technology, engineering, and math. It's a really way to integrate everything. And that's what they're learning today. They're learning how to take these ideas and learn that I have an opportunity also to succeed in this type of field. It's a really underrepresented uh, field, and we're trying to change that.